Hey everyone, let's talk about editing your own work, which is something we all do and must do. But before we get started on that, before I go into it, let me ask you a question. Do you find yourself writing a paragraph or two or three or four or perhaps a page or two and then going back, checking, editing, re-editing all the time? If you are that person, go ahead and type yes in the comments below. If you are that person, then this video is for you. I'm going to tell you why you probably shouldn't be doing that and give you a couple of tips that'll help you out. Before we do that though, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you stay up to date with all my tips, tricks, news, views and information. Now I've been in the writing game for a long, long time. I've written articles and blog posts, newsletters and press releases. I've scripted for comics and animation. And I've done this for small guys, big guys, blue chip financial giants, multinationals across South Africa, the US, the UK, Australia, the Middle East and Sub-Saharan Africa. I've also written a novel for middle graders, available now on Amazon, and I'm busy with a second book. And when I first started out in my career, I would have been one of the guys to type yes in the comments if asked a question. Do I go back again and again and constantly edit and re-edit and recheck and second guess my work all the time? The simple fact is that you have to be your own harshest critic and you have to edit your work ruthlessly. A lot of writing is rewriting. You find a plot element here or a plot hole there and you have to go back. You have to go back and you change it to make it make sense. Of course you do but don't fall into the trap of doing so compulsively. The more I look back over my shoulder to see what was wrong, the more I second guessed myself, the more it started to feel like a chore. It was not fun anymore. The more things I had to change, the more plot holes, the more I looked at the words, I only saw the words and I couldn't see the story anymore. And in a very real sense, I ended up losing the plot. So how did I stop doing that? How can you stop doing that? In the beginning what I did is I opened up a separate Word document called plot elements or plot holes or call it whatever you want and in that I recorded everything that I thought could be added to the story and everything that I thought was wrong with the story. For example in my book The Organ Grinder's Monkey I had my characters doing something that hadn't been set up at the beginning. And I knew that my reader's gonna look at this and they're gonna go, what, what, what's happening over here? How did this even happen? How did this suddenly come about when we heard nothing about it going forward? Obviously, I'm not gonna tell you what that is because I want you to read the book, right? So I don't wanna spoil anything for you. But I don't make these changes immediately. No, 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 no. I make a note. Nowadays, I use these little notebooks. Tons of them, tons of these in all notebooks. They're easy to carry around, make a quick scribble on, especially when you're not sitting in front of your computer. Because moving on is what you need to do. Don't go back. Write it down when you find it, when you see it, and continue to let the story evolve right in front of your eyes as you move from one thing to the next. If you don't do this, you will lose flow and your readers are going to notice it. So yes, edit ruthlessly, but write first. Get going and then go back much later, even at the second rewrite. If you found this useful, type thanks in the comments and don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, keep up to date with my tips, my tricks and everything that you need to improve your writing game. Until then, cheers.